Welcome, Wizard Apprentices. This is our fourth episode of Visual Workflow, and today we're going to learn how to use the power of the flow. There's four main methods of calling the flow within Salesforce. There's the flow URL, which is by far the simplest and easiest way. There's the custom button. You can also embed flows from a Visual Force page. And then there's the new Lightning Process Builder. We're going to take a look at the first three, and we'll save the Process Builder for a separate video. Using the flow URL from your flow is by far the simplest and easy way to reference your flow within Salesforce. The URL is unique for each flow. You simply need to highlight it, copy, and paste, and it'll run your flow. The second method is to use a custom button. Uh, you can use any type of custom button, and all you're going to do is refer to the flow URL, which we just used, and paste it as the URL for your custom button. The nice thing about doing it this way is you can add additional parameters that will be used over and over again. For example, a common one is what's called a ret URL. This is where the page will direct the user once the flow is completed. Common uses for that is the taking to an already existing record. For example, if we call the flow from an account, we want to go back to that same account. So we can do that using ret URL and then merging with this account ID field. Once it's on the page layout, it's pretty straightforward. You simply need to click. You can get your nice little flow. And we'll fill this out really quickly. And now when I hit next, I'm going to be returned to the account page I started on. The third option is to embed your flow within a Visual Force page. There are some benefits to doing this. For example, you can keep the sidebar and the header on your page as you're completing the form. I don't usually like to keep them there simply because it allows the user to escape the flow and then potentially end up leaving the flow in a not very good position. Like if you're already halfway through creating records and you really need that user to complete the entirety of the flow. To embed a flow, it's pretty straightforward. You create a Visual Force page, and you just need to use the component called Flow Interview, and then the name of your flow. That's it. That's the bare minimum. There's not a lot of benefit to doing it this way. The primary reasons why you might use a Visual Force page is if you're going to change the look and feel of the flow, or more importantly, you want to redirect the user to a record that's being created within the flow itself. For example, if we wanted to take the user to the new account or the new contact that we're creating our flow, we would need to use a Visual Force page to do that. However, we would have to write a little bit more code in order for that to really work. Another reason to use a Visual Force page is if you're putting in lots of different parameters and you are using parameters that you just can't you put in through a custom button. And we'll take a look at that advanced example in a different video. Now that we know how to make our flow accessible to our end users, in our next episode, we'll create a more complicated flow, including looking at the loop and some of the fast DML options we have available. Thanks for watching, Wizard Apprentices. Remember, the magic is out there. It's yours for the taking. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment.